Hi everyone. Welcome back to Frappe School. This is the third chapter in our project management course and today we will be talking about timesheet management. By the end of this chapter, you will understand different activity types, activity costs associated with activity types, how to create timesheets and how to bill clients based on timesheets. Many service center organizations work on a project basis and raise invoices to their clients based on the time worked on the project. In such cases, it is important to keep accurate records with all necessary details. A timesheet records the details of the employee, the project, start, end and total time worked, activity type, activity details, billing details and other information. Accurate timesheets are crucial for generating reports for clients and internal stakeholders. Analyzing timesheets help discover patterns and problems so that necessary action can be taken to ensure the success of the project. In many cases, the cost per hour might differ between employees or service teams. In these situations, it becomes convenient to automate the calculation of the total billing amount. Timesheets contribute largely to streamlining project management. Timesheets may need to be approved by internal stakeholders and even clients in some cases before an invoice is generated. Timesheets also help in measuring the productivity of employees and teams. Let's see timesheets in action in ERP next. First, let's start with creating activity types and activity costs. We can navigate from home to the projects module and scroll down to the time tracking section. Let's create an activity type first. Here, we can see a list of predefined activity types like communication, execution, and planning. We can also add a new activity type by clicking on the Add Activity Type button. Here, we can name the activity type. Let's say Research. Add a default costing rate and a default billing rate. We can even use the Disable checkbox if we ever want to disable this activity type in the future. Next, let's create an activity cost. We can find the activity cost list under the time tracking section in the projects module. An activity cost records the per hour billing and costing rate of an employee against a particular activity type. This rate is used by the system while creating timesheets and it is used to determine the project cost as well. Here, we can see a list of all previously created activity costs and create a new one by clicking on Add Activity Cost. We will first have to select the activity type. Let's select Research. Next, we will have to select the employee who is carrying out this activity for the client. Suppose, let's select Marina. We will add a billing rate and a costing rate and then click on save. We can now use this activity cost when needed while creating timesheets. Now let's create a timesheet. A timesheet is essentially a record of the number of hours worked by an employee on any particular task and project. Timesheets are especially useful in tracking time and material based projects. We can find timesheets in the projects module under the time tracking section. Once we open a new timesheet, we need to select our company, the project we are making this timesheet for, and the customer related to the project. Next, we can add the currency and exchange rate as well if we want. Once we've added the basic details, 
we can define the details of the employee that is carrying out this task. Suppose Marina is carrying out the task. We can select Marina and the name of the department will show below. Next, we will define details in the timesheet. Let's select the activity type as research and the number of expected hours, suppose 30, and select from time and to time to define the start and end of this particular activity. We can also add a description for this activity in the timesheet and use the completed checkbox when this activity is completed. Next, we can define the project and task and use the is billable checkbox to show if the activity is billable or not. If we select the checkbox, we will need to add the number of billing hours, billing rate and the costing rate. When we are filling in the billing details for this, we need to note that the actual hours worked and the hours billed can be different. If an activity is expected to take a certain number of hours, but a new or inexperienced employee may take longer, we can record the two values separately. The hours field here shows how many hours it actually took to complete the activity and the billing hours field shows how many hours the client will actually be billed for. Once done, we can save this activity. We can add as many activity types as we want and the total working hours after taking each activity into consideration will be calculated below. Now, we move on to the billing details section. This section shows the total billing amount. We can even add notes to this timesheet and save it when we have added all the details we need to. We can also use the timer to track the actual time spent on an activity. Save the timesheet to see the start timer button at the top of the screen. When we click on it, we will need to enter an activity type, project, task and expected hours it will take to complete this activity. Then we can start the timer. When the activity is finished, we can click on complete and a new entry will be created in the timesheet for that particular activity. Once all the activities are recorded and completed, the timesheet can be submitted. Once a timesheet has been saved and submitted, costing and billing details are locked and we can further create a sales invoice and a salary slip from this timesheet. First, let's try creating a sales invoice from the timesheet we just created. At the top of the submitted sheet, we can see a Create Sales Invoice button. When we click on it, we will need to add an item code for the service provided, and a new sales invoice will be created, and all the details from the timesheet will be filled in. We can add details like taxes, payment terms, terms and conditions, and save and submit the invoice. We can also send an email with the PDF of the invoice. If you pay employees based on the time, you can generate a salary slip against the timesheet. Let's go back to the timesheet 
and see how we can create a salary slip from there. We can see the Create Salary Slip button here. Once we click on it, a new salary slip will be created with information and details about the employee and timesheet details automatically filled in. The start and end dates will be automatically filled in and the net payment info will be calculated. We can modify any details we want and save and submit the salary slip. This brings us to the end of the third chapter in our project management course. I hope this helped you understand how to use ERP Next to manage timesheets and use them effectively in your projects. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss project accounting as a part of project management. Thank you.